Do you want to remove the background in your image but you can't find any app that does it for free without a watermark and in good quality? Don't hesitate, I did the research for you and I'm gonna show you the top 3 background remover apps in this video. If you want to get more tips and tricks for creative mobile photography, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video each Wednesday. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As most of you already know, I'm a photo artist and I shoot a lot of my images with my iPhone. I often also edit my photos with my iPhone as you can see here in the campaign I did for Apple last year. So for the background remover app I was looking for, I had four requirements. The first one was that it should be for free. The second one was that it should be without a watermark. The third one was that it should be really easy and precise. And the fourth one was that it should be possible to put your own background in the back of the image you removed the background from. So if you feel like this is something you are looking for as well, here are my three favorite apps that met all the requirements. The first one is actually my all time favorite Photoshop mix. I also edited this photo for Apple with this app and I really love it. Like it's so easy to use, it's really precise, you can do whatever you want and it's for free if you have an Adobe account. So we're gonna just look in how it's working. Um, I have my Photoshop mix open right now and I can create a new project, I can choose any images on my iPhone and I can for example now choose this image here and I actually want the background to be removed. So what I'm gonna do is I get, go on this cutout tool and I can add things that I want not to be removed. So you can see right now I'm adding all, all the things and I also want to add like the flowers, like the lilac and the result should be that I want to add another photo in the background where you can see a whole bush of lilac flowers. So I want it to be really looking surreal and you can see it's really precise. I can zoom in and I can um, do it with like the smart editing tool, but sometimes it's not working that well. So I can go on the basic editing tool here as well and I can just go in. I usually use my pencil on my Good one with the rubber thingy on the back. Um, I explained it in this video where you can also get a couple of more hacks. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out um, my face and my flowers in the hand. So it's really easy. You can do it really quickly. I'm gonna do this with the smart editing cutting tool and then I can go on, okay? And you can see it's cut out pretty well. If you missed something, like I missed the hair in here, you can go in again and you can just bring it back really easily. And if you're finished, you can add another image or another background. And for example, I want these ones to be in right now. I can just make it bigger and smaller with two fingers and then I'm gonna put it in the back of my image and you can see it looks pretty good I guess. So um, and you can export it, you can save it on the camera roll, it's saving and it's without any watermark. So it's really precise, it's for free and without any watermark and you can put your own background in the back. So the second editing app that met all the requirements is called Beachy Remover and this is how it looks like. If you go into the app you can see you can choose any images from your camera roll and I'm just gonna choose the same image again. So you can see if we go on the image, you can either choose between smart which costs something, so we are gonna choose manual. But in my opinion, manual is really, really good as well. So let's see what it can do. So you can see we have a couple of tools in here and with this tool, with the color eraser, you can just simply draw on your image and you can erase areas from the image. And you can see it just does it really, really well. I can also zoom in and do it more precisely. And this is basically how it works. If there are areas that just don't work with the color eraser, you can just go on the real eraser as well 
and just do it manually. And you can also change the size and the hardness of the eraser, which is really, really cool. And I think we almost have it. Let's remove this one and here. Here. And maybe this as well. And if we have um, the background removed, we can say crop. And then you can choose between foreground and background, which is really cool. And this is like the foreground right now. And I want to add another image in the background. You can see right now you have um, transparent selected, but you can go on this transparent icon and then you can choose another image from your camera roll. And I'm going to choose another image from my camera roll so you can see you can also make it bigger and smaller or turn it around if you just type with one finger on the screen arrow on the top. And this is it. And if you save it, you can see it's without any watermarks, which was one of my requirements. And the third background remover app is called LightX. And you can see it looks like this. And if you open the app, I think it looks really, really professional. In my opinion, the interface is really, really good. Um, you can also shoot new photos within the app with your camera, but I'm going to select the same image as before for my camera roll. And you can see, so the image is here. And, and then you can say edit and cut out. And you have a couple of different options here now. Um, you can either say auto or smart. I just chose the auto version. Um, you can see it automatically showed me areas it wants to cut out, but I want to actually have the background removed and not me as a person in the image. So I just switched it down here. And then I can go in with the smart select tool and just go over the areas I want to have back. So I knew there was like my flowers over here and I don't want them to be removed. Um, yeah, and it's super, super simple. It's really, really cool. You can also erase again. So maybe here is some areas which should be erased again. And you can see it's so very, very precise. And again, if it's not working as you wish it would, um, you can go in with the brush tool and with the eraser tool. So for example, up here, I want to erase some areas and I can simply do it with the erase tool. So it's really cool. I can also bring um, areas back again with the brush tool. So I'm bringing up um, I'm bringing back my hair up here and if you're finished, you can just say, um, okay, you can say crop it and then you can add a background image and I'm going to add the same background image as before. So you have a comparison and you can see the only pr thing which is a little bit problematic in this app is that it takes the framing from the background image and not from the original image. But I think that's not that much of a problem as it's really, really cool app anyways. So I'm editing it in right here and you can save it on a camera roll in different solutions. So I'm saving it. And you can see once again that there is no watermark on the um, photo. So that was one of my requirements. So I'm curious, do you guys know any other background remover app that meets all the four requirements? Um, let me know in the comments below if you do. If you want to get more photo inspiration, you can also follow me on Instagram. It's Amelie Zatzka and I'm going to post all my newest photos on there. If you're interested in mobile photography, you can check out these two videos next. The one is about five hacks that help you to level up your iPhone photography. And the other one is about my favorite photo editing apps on the iPhone. And thank you so much for watching again and I see you next Wednesday. Bye.